So anyway, I thought I would do an update. Um, I'm actually at home right now. Um, looks like I'm going to be switching jobs. Things were not working out with the guy I was working with. Um, you know, it's like uh, the old adage, don't work with friends or family. It's true. I went into it thinking we were going to be a partnership or a team. He looked at it as he was hiring an employee. And uh, he's not a very good boss. He likes to yell. He likes to argue. He doesn't trust people. And to give you an example of a situation that happened, um, I woke up in the morning and I was low on coolant when I did my pre-trip. So I uh, looked around, saw if I could find the leak. I found the leak. It was coming from a, a, a coolant hose, so I went ahead and I tightened the clamp that was on it as best as I could and I gave him a call. Let him know what was going on. And uh, he first thing, one of the first things he asked me is, did you tighten the clamp? And I said yes, as best as I could. He's like, okay, well, <clears throat> Uh, go ahead and take it up to a TA truck stop and have them do a check and advise on it. And I was like, okay, we'll do. So I went to the closest TA truck stop, had them do a check and advise on it. And uh, while I was there, I watched the guy take the hose clamp off, put another one on there, and tighten it down. And... Uh, uh, went ahead and sent the receipt and everything in to the, the, you know, my boss. And uh, I guess on the work order, the tech put down that he had only tightened the hose clamp. I don't know why that's what he put down, but that's what he put down. So my boss proceeds to yell and scream at me for the next hour. In fact, he threatens to fire me. And this isn't the first time he's threatened to fire me. He's threatened to fire me on other occasions. Um, and, uh, all because the tech put down on there that he, all he did was tighten the hose clamp. And, uh, all they charged us was the check and advise fee, which we would have paid anyway. I don't know why he was freaking out, but he was. Uh, other times he threatened to fire me. Um, at one point he scheduled me, uh, two loads. One picked up on Thursday. Uh, delivered, uh, we want to say one picked up on Wednesday, delivered on Thursday morning. The next one picked up Thursday and delivered on Friday. That's what the, the rate confirmation said. That's what all the paperwork said. So that's what I operated on. He calls me up at one point and asks me if I could arrive at the place on Thursday at 8 a.m. I told him I could. I didn't say I would, but I said I could. Um, and he's like, okay, you know, whatever, no big deal. Um, well, I was kind of exhausted, so I slept in. I showed up at the place on Thursday at 10 a.m. Uh, the, the one, the load that picked up, I had all day to pick it up. I got there, I picked it up, rolled towards the final. Um, he calls me up yelling and screaming at me that I didn't show up at the first place by 8 a.m., was asking me why I didn't show up there at 8 a.m. I told him, I was like, I was tired. I slept in. Next load didn't deliver till the next morning anyway. He's like, well, you could have delivered it Thursday and whatnot. And I'm like, well, you didn't tell me that, man. I mean, I only operate off the information I am given. And if the information I'm given says I can't deliver it till Friday morning, that's what I'm going to operate under. And He's yelling and screaming at me. He's like, you told me you'd be there at 8. And I said, no, I told you I could be there at 8. I didn't say I would be. Which just made a matter and yada yada, whatever. So, you know, I can't work for someone like that. And he's only been paying me $800 a week. He keeps changing the deal on me. Um, when I first started working with him, we were talking about I was going to get uh, was it 40% of the gross profit? Then it changed to I was going to get 70% uh, of the net profit. 
and uh, then I was going to be a W-2, and then he changed me to a 1099, and then it became 60% of the net profit, and um, the agreement was I'd get $800 uh, a week after taxes minimum. Well, when he switched me to 1099, he kept paying me $800 a week. He wasn't paying me the extra money that was supposed to go towards taxes. So I took a pay cut, and he didn't even acknowledge it. And I'm working for him. All I was making was $800 a week, nothing else. I could make that kind of money working at Swift, you know? So whatever. Um, I, I, uh, I started looking for another job, I uh, found one, um, it's doing a, a regional dedicated essentially, home on the weekends, Monday through Friday, driving I-95 from Miami to Savannah, Georgia, potential to be home on, uh, on every other day for like my 10 hour break or whatever, but I do get weekends off, so. Uh, that's what I'm I'm looking forward to now and based off the math and the numbers they gave me I should be able to easily make just as much money as I was working for Jason and uh, And have full medical benefits dental vision all that stuff paid vacation quarterly bonuses um, And the the at least 800 to 850 a week um, you know, and that I'll be getting 800 to 850 a week, even if all I run is 2,000 miles a week. So, you know, I, I think I'm going to give that a try. I, you know, I sat down, I talked with the old lady. She told me to go for that. So that's what I'm doing. I gave uh, Jason, you know, 30 days to replace me. I, he went ahead and he found someone to drive for him already. And uh, he told me to go ahead and pick up the truck and turn it in up at his dad's place in Orlando. And uh, whatever. So I'll, I'll keep you all updated. Hopefully this new gig works out. Um, and we'll see. So un until the next time I do a video, you know, keep the rubber side down. Keep the shiny side up. And uh, drive safe.